Hello everyone, this is Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to see a problem from mensuration. So let's get started. Problem. The perimeter of the ends of a frustum of a cone are 44 cm and 8.4 pi cm. If the depth is 14 cm, then find its volume. So we are given the perimeter of ends of a frustum of a cone are 44 cm and 8.4 pi cm. If the depth is 14 cm, that is if the height of the first term is 14 cm, then we have to find its volume. We are given perimeter of the ends, that is we are given the circumference of ends of a first term are 14 cm and 8.4 centimeter 8.4 pi centimeter solution given the perimeter of the ends of a frustum of a cone are 44 centimeter and 8.4 pi centimeter. So let's consider a first term. This is a first term. So we'll have two ends. So the two ends of this first term are circles. So, in circle, we don't have any perimeter. We just have circumference. So, here the perimeter is nothing but circumference of circle of this two ends. If we consider the radius of one end as capital R and the other end as small r, The circumference of the circle will be 2 pi capital R and the circumference of the small circle will be 2 pi small r. So here we are given the perimeter of the ends of the frustrum of a cone R 44 cm and 8.4 pi cm. So we are given perimeter equals to 4.5 cm. And the other 8.4 by centimeter. So we are given one perimeter equals to 44 centimeter. Let's consider one perimeter. As I said earlier, perimeter is nothing but circumference. So we are given 2 pi capital R equals to 44 centimeter. And we are also given 2 pi small r equals to 8.4 pi centimeter. Okay. Perimeter is nothing but circumference. Or you can say equal to. Okay. Don't get confused. So we are given the perimeter a circumference of one end of a first term is 44 centimeter that is we are given 2 pi into capital R equals to 44 centimeter and the perimeter that is circumference of Another end of a frustum 
is 8.45 centimeter that is 2 pi small r equals to 8.4 pi centimeters. Okay. Using these two conditions, we can find the value of capital R from this and we can find the value of small r from this condition. Okay. So, we are having 2 pi capital R equals to 44 centimeter and 2 pi small r equals to 8.45 centimeter. Alright. Next, if the depth is 14 centimeter, we are also given We are also given the depth of frustum is 14 centimeter. That is, we are given height of the frustum is equals to 14 centimeter. So, we are given the height h equals to 14 centimeter. Then what we have to do here? We have to find the volume of the frustrum. So we have to find the volume. Okay. So, let's find the value of small r and capital R from the given conditions. We have 2 pi capital R equals to 44 centimeter. So, from this we will get capital R equals to 44 centimeter by 2 pi. Now, take pi equals to 22 by 7. 2 into 22 by 7. So, this is equals to 44 into 7 into centimeter by 2 into 22. Okay. 2, 22 is 44. 22, 22 gets cancelled. So, this is equals to 7 centimeter. So, therefore, capital R equals to 7 centimeter. So, we have capital R equals to 7 centimeter. Next, we will find the value of small r. We have 2 pi into small r equals to 8.4 pi centimeter. Okay. So, from this we will get the value of small r equals to 8.4 pi centimeter by 2 pi. Cancel pi to 1 zero. 2 4 zero eight point two. Okay. 4.2 into 2 is 2 2 zero 4 2 4 zero 8. So, this is equals to 4.2 centimeter. Therefore, therefore, small r equals to 4.2 centimeter. Fine. Now, we will find the value of the given cluster. We know that the volume of frustum equals to 1 by 3 pi h into capital R square plus small r square plus capital R into small r q 
cubic unit. Since we are having the values of capital R and small r and h, we can find the volume of the given first term. Easy. So this equals to 1 by 3 into take by 22 by 7 into h. We are given h equals to 14 centimeter into capital R square. We have capital R equals to 7 centimeter. So plus small r square is 4.2 centimeter square plus capital R into small r 7 centimeter into 4.2 centimeter okay so no need to write units blindly here you will get automatically from the calculation so this is equals to sun ones are 7 twos are 14, 22 into 2, 44 by 3 into centimeter into 7 square, 49 centimeter square plus 4.2 into 4.2. Two twos are four, two fours are eight, four twos are eight, four fours are sixteen. So, 4.2 whole square is 17.64 centimeter square plus 7 into 4.2 or 4.2 into 7. 7 twos are 14. 7 are 28. 28 plus 1, 29. 29.4 into centimeter into centimeter is centimeter square. So this equals to 44 by 3 into centimeter into now add all these three now add all these three 49 plus 17.64 plus 29.4 4 10 10 26 Six, seven. So forty nine plus seventeen point six four plus twenty nine point four is ninety six point zero four centimeter square. Centimeter square. Okay. If you want, you can take centimeter square common. Okay. The next step. Better. So take centimeter square common. You won't get any confusion in this calculation part. Okay. So this equals to 44 into 96.04 into centimeter into centimeter square by 3. So 96.04 into 44 will be equals to 4 4 are 16, 4 6 are 24, 4 9 are 36, 36 plus 2 38. Six, seven, five, twelve, 
So this is equals to 4225.76 by 3. Into centimeter into centimeter square is centimeter cube. Okay. So you can write this as this is equals to 4225.8 by 3 centimeters square. This is cube, right? So we get centimeter cube, sorry. You're having 7 and 6. Since you're having 6 here, which is greater than 5, so you could write this number as 8. Okay, fine. 3 ones are 3 ones are 3, 3 fours are 12, 3 eights are 24, 24. So 25 minus 24 is 1. You will be having 1.8. So 0. 0.6. 3 six are 80. 14. Okay. 1408.6 into 3 is equals to 3 six are 18. 3 eights are 24. 24 plus 1, 25. 3 fours are 12, 3 ones are 3, 3 plus 1, 4. Okay. So this equals to 1408.6 centimeter cube. So therefore, the volume of the frustrum, the volume of the frustrum. is 1408.6 centimeter cube. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from mensuration in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.